And just before I let you go, man, what do you think of Dimitri Bivol um, fighting and able to beat your, your man, uh, Sergio Ramirez, over there in Abu Dhabi? What do you think of the fight? I feel like it was a really good fight, man. Um, I, I'm just a little bit – I'm not disappointed. I'm just like uh, – Sordo, he, it didn't look like he didn't really have enough. He was just throwing the same thing over and over again. But, I mean, I feel like that's probably just what Bivol does. You know, Bivol is a great fighter. He has great feet. I feel like you have – the game plan you have to have for him has to be, you know, shutting him down in the middle of the ring because once he gets to the outside of the ring, his feet are so good and you're not going to get – you're not going to be able to get him on, on the ropes. So um, with him, he's the type of fighter that you know how to fight in the middle ring. But, you know, he has great foot movement, uh, great footwork, great combinations. And he's really strong, too. So he, he may, he's, he's a dangerous opponent. Um, hopefully, I would love, I would still love to get a fight with him in the future. Yeah. You know, just because we had, a, we had a lot of sparring sessions and we already, I already know how that went. So I feel like it would be definitely a great fight. So hopefully we can make that happen in the future. Uh, yeah, I mean, because he's got unfinished business with Better Be Ev. You got unfinished business at 68. But when the dust all settles, that's the fight you want, Bivol? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, because it – yeah, okay, all right. I wish I, – I would – I know it all stays in the gym, but I, I wish we could get – I wish we had some tapes of you guys in the gym. I'm just curious how you handled them, what you did. I wish, I wish I wish I wish I I wish I had some tapes, too, to put on YouTube, bro. Those fucking sparrings are crazy. But if you could ask anybody from the church, show, they'll tell you. Um, the people that see me sparring them there, yeah, they'll, they'll tell you what I did to them. But, you know, like, I want to leave it there. I want to leave it in the gym. You know, Bivol's always, always been a great person to me. So, you know, I don't want to really expose anything too much. Right, right. And he spoke highly of you from uh, the sparring sessions. But thank you, David. Um, I, think I, I think I got everything I needed out of G Champ. Uh, can't wait for the fight. Hopefully we get it uh, in March, you and Caleb. Uh, but anything else you want to say to boxing fans before you get out of here, bro? Yeah, man. I just want to tell everybody that thank you so much for the love and support. Um, this fight is definitely going to be one of the best fights of this year. You know, it's, it's a lot of animosity, a lot of bad blood. Uh, but it's going to be a great fight. And sit back and enjoy the show. And I'll see you guys soon. Oh, wait, and I actually, I'm so sorry. I did got to ask you one more thing. What would you think about your one of your biggest fans, Jake Paul, uh, you know, admitting that you are his favorite fighter and then even showing the respect of saying, I'm, I'm not ready to fight a guy like David Benavides uh, just yet. What would you make of all that? It was dope, bro. Um, I met him right there at the fight. You know, he's a really nice guy. You know, we exchanged numbers, too. We're texting. Um, he's a really nice guy, and I have a lot of respect for him. You know, not only because... You know, he's a big superstar, but the, uh, the respect I have is because, you know, when you, once you make a lot of money, bro, the hardest thing to do is train. You know, and this guy has actually made boxing into one of his main careers and actually wanting to train and wanting to be in training camp and stuff like that. So when you when you see some, something like that, you have to show respect, bro. I mean, boxing is extremely hard and it's not easy to be in training camps and to be a professional boxer. So for him to, you know, actually – Going 100% into boxing, you know, I really respect it a lot. So, he's a nice guy. Who who gets the Canelo first, you or Jake? Shit, I hope me, but, you know, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes crazy shit like this happens. So, But um, I don't know. I hope I get Canelo first. But, you know, if even if he gets it first, I'll still watch it. I'll pull up with him. But, uh, but, but thank you, David. It was good to see you get some shine from Jake. Much deserved. Thanks for your time, brother. Yes, sir, brother. All right. Have a good day, man. You Take bro. care.